guys and welcome to Discography Bits, a segment where I take a song or EP and I chop it up to give it a full review. This time on the table is... Wait a minute. I don't got a song in plan. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my phone all the way so that you can hear it. And I'm gonna hit shuffle and the first song to appear is the song I will do a review on. Whether I like it or I'm sick and tired of it. And that song will be... Platypus by Green Day from the album Nimrod. Alright, well, welcome back. And so now I am doing Platypus by uh, Green Day. So, hello and welcome to Disco Graphy Bits. And, alright, let's just start off with the release dates. Even though the song is an album only song, it was released with Nimrod on October 14th, 1997. But like I said, it's an album-only track, so therefore, no radio station is going to play it. Because if radio station did play it, they'd probably get in trouble because there's a lot of swearing. Anyway, track listings. Warrior Rock is before this track, and, up, and Uptight is after. This lovely song is made for Tim Johannanen, who he wrote good reviews for 1039 Smooth Ass Slappy Hours, as well as Kurt Plunk, and then gave Dookie terrible reviews, calling them a sellout. So the band was pissed at him. And this track is dedicated to them. And because this band was pissed at them, they wrote this track. The song is about really hating the guy. Lyrics back this up. No one loves you and you know it. Don't pretend that you enjoy it or you don't care. Because now I wouldn't lie or tell you all the things you would want to hear. Because I hate you. I hate your... Or I heard you're sick. Sucked on that cancer sick. A throbbing tumor and a radiation high. Well, I mean, this guy did die of cancer, but... Whatever. I'm no big loss. Is this track remembered? I guess it is, but I'm not sure to be completely honest. I mean, you ask people like, you know the song Platypus by Green Day? And they might say, yeah, or they might say, no, not really, or I think I've heard of it. But it's not one of those tracks where everybody knows, like Basket Case. This is how the song's played. This song is such a fast-paced and hard song. The lyrics are so fitting to this tone. It kind of reminds me of Jaded. You can really feel the hate in this song. I love how much it expresses itself, although Billy sings too fast to understand what he is saying. Even the bass towards the end of the song just makes it pure gold. I feel like the song is kind of tiring, but it's a short track. And I like the way it ends, the way it starts. Other Green Day tracks have done that. Going to Pakasa, Minority, and those are the only two other examples I can give. Although Warning came out four years later, but or Minority, whatever. But you see my point. Uh, times played live. This track has been played live 79 times, making it their uh, 45th most played song, next to Road Acceptance. This song has been played one time in 1997, 23 times in 1998 and 2000, 26 times in 2001, 4 times in 2002, 2 times in 2010, and 1 time in 2015. Personal. If you're completely stupid at your name, Mike Guitar. Uh, wow. Now I'm done, because I, I just said Mike Guitar. Billy Guitar, Mike Bass, Trey Drums. Good grief. Features of this track that I stole from Pandora.com. Electric Reich instrumentation. Punk influences. A subtle use of vocal harmony. A subtle use of vocal harmony. You can't understand what he is singing. For, like, except, like, the chorus, maybe. Repetitive, medallic phrasing. Oh, please. Repetitive. He sings it so fast that you ha that you want to hear it to know what he's saying. Good grief. It's not even repetitive at all. I mean, it's kind of tiring, but it's not repetitive. It's amazing how much lyrics it has for a two-minute track. Anyway, let's see what the community thinks about this song. I love this song. It's so perfect to listen to it when you're pissed off at everyone and you just need a little hate. Another person said, Ah, the perfect St. Valentine's Day song. Nice choice. <laughs> nice. Third person. I love this song's aggressive way. Whenever I'm sick of somebody, I listen to it, and it just helps a lot uh, a lot to let out my feelings, and especially my rage and hate for a moment. Another person said, Love it. I always used to love this song. Still do. It fitted in well when I liked to pretend I was really hardcore. Now I just like it for the sentiment. Song facts. In the book Let It In Run, the song doesn't have lyrics because Billy has a potty mouth. The song was going to be on Soniac, but they wouldn't tell Nimrod to prove that they matured. And then other notes. 
This song is one of the most pay, um, one of the most fast-paced Green Day songs. Other includes Jaded, and uh, um, anyway, Green Hayes did a cover of this song, and they suck. In the end, Platypus is a song that is barely remembered and is loved by the community. The fast-pacing track and the message of hate to the journalist makes it really fitting. The only bad things I have to say about this track is that there's no lyrics in the booklet, and I feel like this song becomes repetitive, and lastly, I can't understand most of what he is saying. But these problems are not major because the repetitive nature of this is fixed by how short the song is. This song is one of my favorites off of the album Nimrod. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a good night.